Hello, welcome to my channel, Renzo here. Okay, I'm going to start this drawing of uh, uh, Jack Pattens. Okay, I'm going to start with uh, just uh, white charcoal and I'm going to just add first some, uh, some value to the paper. Okay. A uh, few things first. I'm gonna place the head here. Yeah, I think that's a good size. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. A little bit smaller. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna start with the charcoal and let's make everything dark. Okay. Now I'm gonna use a needed eraser. And I'm going to erase a little bit the forehead. Okay, now cheek on the right, cheek on the left, the nose, the frontal plane of the nose. Okay, and the chin. Okay, I go back to charcoal again. Basically, I'm just working with big shapes, no details, one eye, the other eye, the nose. At the same time, what I'm doing is visually measuring. Remember that the first thing that we, get, we have to do is always check out the, on, on the face and, and see if we can use uh, the Canon, I mean, the, uh, those regular measurements that we all know, okay? That's from the eyebrow to the nose is the same distance from the from the bottom of the nose to the bottom of the chin. Okay, uh, it's pretty close. It's not perfect. Uh, it's not perfect measurement, but definitely helps a lot. The other thing I always do is check out alignments. For example, doing this and I check in on the photograph. Hey, look at the corner of the mouth. It's aligned up with the eye. It's a little bit closer. What about the nose? The shadow here on the nose. Align up with the turtok, the iris. Okay. Okay. Then during the whole process, I'm checking on that kind of tracing, a grid, you know, so many lines, horizontal and vertical lines all over the face. close is the nose to the edge of the face this is a measure that we sometimes we tend to make mistakes we tend to make this distance wider and in a trick or view this is pretty close you know the nose is pretty close to the contour of the face now I'm using a brush to soften a little bit the charcoal Step back, compare. Mm. You can see a little bit of the face. Okay, a little bit. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay, okay. 
checking on things that I can use. Uh, I have here my uh, my left hand brush, and I put this brush on top of the photograph and check out some, for some alignments. Like for example, the corner of the mouth here. Let's say it's around here. It's aligned up with this shadow next to the tear duct. Down like that. Okay. okay. Look how tilted is the nose. For that, I can just brush again and you know put it on the photograph and move the brush to my drawing. This way, I know how tilted is the nose. stick which is pretty dark let me see okay I, I squint on my eyes I see this black 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 no okay I'm gonna just first make this area pretty dark just here and now I gotta think okay if I wanna keep uh, contrast all over the face. I want to soften. I want to create some transparency. Okay. And what about adding some uh, more accents? For example, this is like a dark accent. We see that clearly in the photograph. Okay. I think it's going to stay here and not here. white charcoal mm -hmm. got the, you got the image on the description box you can use the you know the video and the photograph and practice with me
in back. Okay, I need to raise the lights on the face. some contrast here. I was thinking to make all this dark but I think all the background dark but I see maybe it's too much contrast this is too this pre black black. Okay I, I think I have to make it darker here too. I'm thinking just about uh, a balance, you know, balance because it's too dark here, dark here. Yeah. Let's make it darker here too, for the hair. Okay, I got charcoal pencil. One and I'm gonna start making details, trying to trying to get the likeness. I think I got I kind of close to the structure of the face, but maybe maybe the nose that I draw is too too long. Let's see. It could be maybe just the chin. Not so sure yet. Not so sure. I gotta just have more on my paper in order to compare more. The more I, I draw, I draw, the more I, it's easy for me to compare. <clears throat> okay. Let's see, let's see. Okay, I'm gonna start using this char uh, pit charcoal, soft. No, when I, what I do when I draw or paint is just work a little bit on one eye, just a bit, and then I move to the other eye. I always try to measure, you know, usually uh, you pick up an eye, the width of this eye, and you can repeat the measure here, to the bridge of the nose, to the tear duct, to the eye. Now, usually, not always, okay, you gotta be... Uh, you can use a proportional divider or anything to measure, to be sure. Measuring with a pencil doing this, you know, for the distance is, uh, is something that has been used for, for years. And I was a student that's basically the only tool I, I, I had to measure and measure again and again. I think the, maybe the, I'm not going to say the best tool, but it's something that I have seen and I think it works pretty good. It's a proportional divider. the mouth hmm. okay one way to place the mouth on this area is 
just like this, okay? You got the bottom of the nose, you got the bottom of the chin, yeah? yeah. Okay, halfway from here to here, you lay down a line, and usually on top of this line we see the mouth, okay? Now, we gotta check out with, you know, his face. Do you think that's gonna work? Or maybe you need to move the mouth a little bit up, a little bit down. I think I gotta move the mouth a little bit up. Tiny bit up. Okay. First, I gotta be sure if the, the chin is okay. I think I'm gonna move the chin a little bit up. Just a tiny bit. Now the mouth. I'm squinting down my eyes, and I'm gonna place the shadow below the lower lip. Here. I'm comparing. I keep my eyes squinted down. I compare. Yeah, I think that's okay. <clears throat> Stepping back. Okay. Now I'm going to use the needle eraser to see some lights. Okay. Oh, hello, Christine. On YouTube. Hello, Push Panjali in Sanawar and Facebook. I was planning to draw like a couple of hours ago. I was, you know, that I'm planning to have this routine, like an early uh, routine, morning routine, drawing daily, at least for an hour. And it took me like, just like an hour to pick up a photograph. And I gotta just pick up the photograph like that because, you know, I, I like, it's just like, uh, I thought, you know, like, hey, why don't you pick up the photograph uh, 
of the day, you know, the last day, uh, a previous day, or okay, to get everything set up. And I tried to do that. <laughs> the funny thing is, uh, I picked up a photograph once, uh, you know, previous date at night. And then in the morning, I saw, you know, the photograph, and I didn't like it. I said, mm, I don't like it now. I like it at the moment, but not now. Okay. And I was trying just to convince myself, like, but, you know, I like it this yesterday. It was pretty good. Yeah, not now. You know, all the photographs out there are a lot of nice, pretty good photographs for drawing, for practicing, but <clears throat> the point is just like, uh, I don't know, I mean, this is, uh, is for me, I gotta just, uh, got a feeling, you know, about the photograph, the lighting, all of that, the subject. It gotta be just at the moment. Okay, I think I'm getting closer to his expression. Yeah. One thing for sure that he has really rounded uh, ch the rounded cheekbone here. Okay. And, uh, yeah. mm, okay. Hello, Tui Tintai. Okay, stepping back, I'll get closer. Now I pimp on my eyes between the photograph and the drawing. Okay, I will repeat again. Okay, I'm gonna stay a little bit on the eyes. Thinking about you know the uh, the shape of the eyebrow with the eye, you know as a flat shape, just just this this here. Okay. Hmm. Again, we raise here just to because she ha he has a. Okay. Uh, uh, in the same way that he has a really, you know, like, really pronounced cheekbone, the same way he has this, the bone here, the upper portion of the eye socket, the this portion, really pronounced. His chin too, you know, is kind of coming forward a lot. But not the nose, eh? Okay. More than drawing at the morning, 
I got used to drawing at night for so many years, pretty late, and that's something that has to do with my, you know, education on the School of Art, because we used to draw daily from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. I don't know why, we used to paint on the mornings and draw at night. That was pretty nice in a way because at night, uh, uh, for some reason, it was all the school of art. It was quiet. Eh, maybe because we everybody was tired. You know, when I studied in the school of art, I used to go at eight a.m. Paint uh, from nine a.m. to one p.m. Got to, you know, to take lunch and got some lessons like history lessons and all of that, and then and then uh, wait to 6 p.m. there on the school of art. Some of my friends used to go to the, their houses, you know, to eat, to rest. But for me, I prefer to stay on the school of art like the whole day. And that was the routine, drawing every day at night, painting every day on the morning. But nowadays I find that this, I think, is easier uh, for me to draw at the morning. It feels like it sh we should draw in the morning. You know, it feels like, for me, like that's the first thing that I gotta, I gotta do. You know? With time, the first thing that we used to do, you know, is check out our cell phones or check out the computer. Obviously, I do that too, but this last week I've been doing that. Look for a photograph to draw. I hope I can keep this uh, routine as much as possible. Okay, stepping back, checking again. He has some shadows here. charcoal oh this is pastel stick you know sorry that's, that's a pastel stick this that that's this is uh why is this is pretty dark i cannot get to this dark just with vine charcoal i don't have any compressed charcoal but compressed charcoal it looks like it's pretty dark Tweet Tant is telling me, I hope you draw Messi or Ronaldo in the next life. Yeah, I will.
Okay, let's continue down my eyes again. It looks like, uh, obviously in the photograph we see, so all of this is dark, yeah? Just black. Obviously there are some variations, value variations. Yeah. I don't feel like making all this just black. I want some kind of, you know, loose effect here, like the face is just fading. Here I can have some, some detail. This one is pretty soft. I'm gonna use uh, graphite. I got pit matte graphite. Okay. Oh, first I need to erase on lights that I see here. For example, this light around the tear duct. Mm, yeah. Here. Preocupado. Hello, Karen. Is a prison. Okay, I need to step back. Mm -hmm. 
I'm thinking about this area. Is that okay? Just keep it like that. Just thinking, you know, about balance, about uh, maybe if I want to keep this kind of lost, I should do the same here. Or maybe just a little bit of, like, what if I do this, just... I don't want to add a lot of details, you know, I want this sketchy effect. But this sketchy effect about, you know, tr throwing some, some strokes and, and hoping that something nice happens. Well, sometimes that happens, you know, so those happy accidents. Sometimes, but I think uh, what is what happens usually we gotta just go back and forth all the time trying to get some effect just by trying again and again okay I've been working one eye the other eye the nose We think always about always about balance, you know. Obviously, uh, if I got too much black, uh, that's not gonna be okay. If I got too much of the paper, it's not gonna be okay either. Okay, if uh, I got like a lot of detail and and uh, and. All, all the other, the other areas are kind of fade and disappearing. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna be okay. Okay, I'm gonna stop thinking about that. I gotta think about values. You know, first I think I need to get the drawing. I need to get closer when it's about drawing. I mean proportions, the likeness, if that's possible. Some shadows, midtones, and those are the things that you know take some more time. Thinking about values and volume, you know, uh, we gotta think. For example, this the shadow here. This shadow is gonna be dark. It's gonna be always usually darker, like ninety percent of the time. Now here on the upper eyelid, we got a mid tone here. We got light here, and we got it's darker here. We're gonna see that again and again on every portrait. That means that we can just check out that before even seeing that on the on 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 the photograph. Okay. Yeah. What about? 
about this one, the left eye, the eye on the left, the same light here. Shadow here, light in the middle, shadow here. Okay, what about the mouth? The same. We cut shadow here and light in this portion. This way the mouth looks rounded. In other way, we just have light all the way here in this portion to the corner of the mouth. That's just like a common mistake. The mouth is going to look flat. One minute and just drink a little bit of coffee. Thank you, Rick Morway. Okay. Oh, I forget to mention I'm using this Mad Graphite 14B. go on top of that with uh, pastel or charcoal Highlight on the iris.
there's something that's not okay I think it's the eye, this eye, maybe I gotta move this eye a little bit down mm. not so sure complaining a lot because I know I gotta make some corrections but not so sure okay you know the more we have on, on drawing and obviously it's easy to compare but it's not easy to kind of see all the mistakes right away and, and fix them I feel that I gotta move this eye a little bit down, but not so sure to do it. Okay, I just wanna still working on values. Okay, where's the lightest light on the face? If I squint down my eyes, usually it's the nose. It could be the forehead too, but usually it's the nose. Okay, the tip of the nose is uh, we see a highlight there. Now, is that the case? Okay. Uh, that means the highlight is going to be around here. Okay. I got to shade pretty lightly around that area to see the highlight. Even here, shade a little bit. Okay. The light I see on the upper eyelid here and here. This light, but this is definitely is is everything here is darker, and below the eye is darker too. Okay. Now the other light. Uh, now obviously the light is coming from the left. I see light here. I see shadow here. I see light on the frontal plane of the nose. I see shadow here. On this side of the nose. Okay. Highlight here on the lower lip. Okay, that means that the forehead is a little bit darker. This is the thing that takes me a lot of time because at the same time that I'm just you know, paying a lot of attention to the photograph, I gotta at the same time just think about light, mid-tones and shadows on the face and just following, not following just what I see, okay, just the thing that I know and definitely that, that makes, let's say, 
easier the shading draw the shading process but for example uh, here I'm shading the forehead you know now to make the forehead rounded I gotta think that there's gonna be a little bit darker here always getting to the edge of the face why because that making that dark is gonna create the effect that is is turning okay now how dark I gotta do that enough to see a difference I don't see that on the photograph it looks for me like the same value what what I see on the photograph is light I see like a mid-tone and light again okay and now obviously it's kind of difficult to see everything all those subtle values that we try to, to see them by squinting down our eyes but remember that for me it's kind of impossible in other words basically we see uh, we draw basically or paint like 70% of what we see and 30% of what we know okay I mean, it's just like in color, you know, they, uh, I've been reading, I mean, we have limitations, you know, it's just like, let's say that here on the face, there are a million values, yeah, we're not able to, to see all of them, we basically just, we're going to see maybe a thousand, it does a lot, <laughs> I don't even know if that's possible, maybe less, how you, how you manage? That amount of values went uh, well we got confused with a simple value scale okay now uh, what uh, I'm thinking is okay I got the highlight on the nose yeah? let's say that's value number one Value number two is gonna be the highlight here next to the nose next to the tip of the nose let's say value number three is going to be here but the difference between those three values is almost nothing but there is a difference okay Here, for example, we have light, but it's not too bright. We gotta darken up this, but at the same time, we got we need to get this rounded effect here. Oh, to entice him, so can you accept my friend request on Facebook? Okay. Yeah. Uh, you, you have the same name on Facebook? Okay. I will. Okay, I will. I just wanted to know if uh, if you have the same name.
there are a lot of, uh, I got a lot of, uh, uh, how do you say, a request on, on Facebook. Okay, so I type pam, pam, that, okay, that makes things easier. And at some point I was accepting all the friends' requests on Facebook. Yeah, but uh, I started to get some messages uh, and and I realized that it's kind of there, there are a lot of fake profiles and then I started to check a couple of a few of them and it was like they were created a day the day before and I said okay and at the end you don't know that it, it was for me like oh my god too much work you know to know who's who's who is who here and i just i don't accept any friend request since that day yeah. oh, but obviously i'm gonna look for your request uh and eh, let's be friends on facebook <laughs> Squinting down my eyes again. I got twenty minutes. I think I got plenty of time to check out again all the values in the portrait okay let me i'm gonna capture my screen here and let's see if i'm gonna share my my uh my, my screen here when, when i'm gonna do i'm gonna reverse the photograph Here's Photoshop. Okay. You notice my my it looks pinky. Eh? You know what happens? What ha the, what happens is my my floor kind of reddish, and it's just it's so difficult. I, I don't know what to do, but I'm gonna get this reddish color on. Red the reddish color all the time. I think. Okay. I got the photograph. I got. My drawing. Let's see. I'm gonna just flip it. Okay, it looks pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. I think I gotta just make this area darker here. Here. Darker here. Yeah, because I think he has a thick, you know, neck, and yeah. both the eyes, you know, mm, everything. The shadow here maybe darkened up here. But what I didn't, I didn't want to do. What I didn't want to do is just darken up everything here. But anyway, no, yeah, I don't know. I just make it. I'm gonna make it darker here a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, I think I see his face, yeah? The nose is a little bit different. Yeah. Something not, it's not okay with the nose. Okay. I'm gonna retouch the nose a little bit, keeping my eyes on, on the screen. That means that you're not gonna see me doing the retouch. Sorry, just it's gonna be just a minute. No. 
nose. Is that clear that that's the nose? Yeah. Okay, I'll go back to. Okay, I did a little bit of retouch on the nose. Oh, okay, one thing that I forget to do on Photoshop, I want to show you this. Okay, I, for I forgot to darken up the, my drawing to check out values. Okay, now I'm going to do the same with the photograph. Okay, I think I'm kind of close. Yeah, but look at look at the difference here, this area here. Yeah, I gotta darken up this area. What is it? I gotta darken up here, and here. Yeah. Yeah, a little bit more the forehead. Yeah. Okay. Definitely that does difficult if we don't uh, we try to to get to the point you know to, s s to see all those values but then i can as you, as you see as i have i have as i have seen it's impossible for my eyes just to see all those differences i tried to make this darker i was speaking about that just because I know that it has to be darker to make the effect that is turning. But I didn't know how much, because it's difficult, you know, to see. Now, I'm darkening up here. If I darken up the light, I have to darken up the mid-tone, the shadow, too. Okay, now here, too. Remember I mentioned this area, this and this.
the white of the eye is now white, white. Okay. Ya termino.
Okay, I think that's it. Yep. Okay, thank you so much, uh, that's it for today, yep, uh, tomorrow I, I will try to, you know, draw again, tomorrow I have a class in the morning, yep, okay, that's it for, that's it for today, thank you everybody for being here, see you next time, take care.